Hi boys and girls, my name is Coach Rachel and this is my son Zachary and we are super excited to bring you this new workout today. So it's going to be about 30 minutes. You're going to be doing some cardio and strength training and we're going to be working on speed to see how fast competing against yourself. So make sure that you have space around you and let me tell you some of the things that you're going to need for this workout. That way you can press pause, run and gather your stuff and then come back. Okay. So as you can see, Zachary and I are both wearing shoes. Okay. Because some of our exercises are going to be running forward and back and side to side, I want to make sure that you have good proper shoes on, okay? Or you can be barefoot if you want to, um, but make sure, I would not recommend socks because it may be too slippery on the surface that you're going to be working on, okay? All right, the next thing that you need is you need a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen because you're going to be writing some things down, okay? So a piece of paper, pencil, and pen. Now for our strength training, you're gonna have a couple different options. If you are brand new to strength training, I want you to just grab some water bottles. So you'll need two or canned food, okay? So Zachary, for the first um, set of exercises, he's going to demo the exercises using canned food. So he's just gonna put them off to the side. Go ahead and put them off right there. And I'm gonna show you using water bottles, okay? And then when we do the second round of exercises, Zachary's going to pick up dumbbells and use three pound dumbbells because he's been working out for a little while with me. So he knows how to use dumbbells. If you are brand new, I want you to just use water bottles, um, canned vegetables, something like that. Or um, if you've been doing exercise for a while, you can use dumbbells, okay? We're gonna show you all kinds of options. So go ahead and gather your stuff up, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we always wanna get started with a warm up, okay? That's very important. So we can get our muscles warmed up so we're ready to go, okay? So let's go ahead and just do some little tiny marches walk in place. There we go. So now we don't have any music today for the workout. So if you want, you can put a little bit of music on in the background. If you want to listen to music and then just make sure to turn up the volume so that you can hear and see Zachary and I the whole workout, okay? All right, nice, good inhale and exhale. We're just doing a little bit of jogging. How are you feeling today? Good. Good, all right. We're excited to bring you our first kids workout. All right, in four, three, two, one. All right, plant your feet for a second. All right, I want you to do some arm rolls. Okay, so we're going to put our hands out to the side. All right, and we're just going to be doing some arm circles, rolling. There we go. So I'm moving to the side, that way you can see Zachary really good. All right, so he's got his arms up and he's just doing little, little circles right now. You don't want to make them too big. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Yep. So while we're picking up those hand weights, or canned food, we wanna make sure that our arms and our muscles are all warmed up before we do that. Okay, so now Zachary, we're gonna put our hands to our side and we're gonna do some back swimmer arms. There we go. I'm gonna move forward a little bit. He's gonna move back a little bit, that way we don't hit each other. <laughs> there we go. So back swimmer arms, there we go. Straight back. All right. Now reverse, so now we're gonna go forward forward with those swimmer arms. There we go. All right, let's do a couple more and we'll go back to our marching in place. To keep those legs warmed up. All right, and time. Okay, back to those marches. Okay, if you can pick up those feet a little more, a little faster. There we go. All right. All right, couple more. In four, three, two, one. All right, plant your feet again, and we're just gonna reach up and up and up. There we go. So reaching tall through the ceiling. We're getting all warmed up. Reach those fingertips up. There we go. And we're gonna add our lower body. We're gonna do some marching and jogging in just a second with these arm raises, okay? So reach up and down. All right, so pause those arms. Let's go back to our marching or our jogging. 
at this point if you want to do. So Jack Zachary's going to show you his jogging. I'm going to show you marching, and we're adding those arms. So can you add those arms? There we go. You don't have to go too fast. You can go a little slower. So you can do marches and arm races, or we're getting a little faster. There we go. All right, do we feel our bodies warming up some more? Yep. All right, in four, three, two, one. All right, let's kick it out. Kick it out, little kicks to the front. There we go. All right, they don't have to be big. All right, now stretch that arm out, arm out at the same time. Could be same arm, same leg, or opposite arm, opposite leg, doesn't matter. Whichever one you wanna do. In four, three, two, one. All right, your warm up is done. So we don't have to do much more than that because I feel like our bodies are warmed up and ready to go. Now, this first segment we're going to do is a cardio competition. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit more cardio in before we pick up those weights. All right, so this is where you need your piece of paper and pencil. Okay, you don't need anything else but that, okay? You're gonna keep it close to you, and I want you to take your piece of paper and number it, one, two, three, and four, okay? We're gonna be doing four cardio exercises, and we're gonna be doing them for 30 seconds, okay? And I want you to count how many you do in those 30 seconds. So for example, our first exercise is gonna be jumping jacks, okay? So Zachary, show me a jumping jack, okay? So every time he brings his arms up, he's counting one, two, okay? So you can either count out loud or count in your brain, okay? And at the end of 30 seconds, I'm gonna say time, and you're gonna run over to your piece of paper and pencil, and you're gonna write down how many jumping jacks you did, okay? We're gonna do four different exercises, and we're gonna do them two times, okay? And we'll, we'll talk more about that in a second, but let's go ahead and get started. I've got my timer all ready. We're gonna do it for 30 seconds. Are we ready? So. We're gonna get started with our jumping jacks in three, two, one. Here we go, jumping jacks, so counting, okay? There we go. So Zachary's got those legs going out, those arms going up. He's got great posture, so he's counting in his brain how many he's doing. All right, excellent, halfway through. So you're doing this for 30 seconds. If you need to take a little bit of a break, you can do that, move forward just a little bit. All right, if you need to take a break in the 30 seconds, that's okay, you just catch your breath. In three, two, one, all right. All right, Zachary, write down how many did you do? What? How many did you do? 37. 37, okay. So quickly write down your number and then come back to me. We're gonna get started in five seconds with our next one, our squat jumps. So feet are hip width, squat and jump. All right, here we go, boys and girls, up and down. So counting every time you jump up, okay? There we go. He's got his arms in the front. Your arms can be in the front or they can be down here by the side. Okay, jumping up and down. Now you're doing the best that you can for 30 seconds, okay? If you have to stop for a second or two and take a break, you know, catch your breath, that's okay, all right? All right, couple more seconds, Zachary, here we go. And time. All right, quickly write down your number. All right, write down how many squat jumps you did. Our next one are butt kicks. So they look like this, you're curling your legs, okay? So you're gonna count and it's each leg. So it's one, one, two, two, all right? All right, here we go, 30 seconds. Go ahead, start counting. You'll get a quick water break after this, okay? We only have four exercises and you're at number three. There we go. Keep counting in your brain, keep breathing. There we go. All right, you can do it, Zachary. You guys can do it, I know you can. You got five more seconds, okay? Three, two, one, excellent. All right, write down your number. We only have one more exercise. We're down on the ground for push-ups, okay? So let me show you. All right, come on down quickly, Zachary. All right, down for push-ups. You can either be on your knees or on your toes, all right? Here we go. 30 seconds, down and up. All right, so he's choosing to do his toes. He's keeping his back straight, his butt is down. Okay, that's excellent, very good. Now if he gets tired in these 30 seconds that he's gonna go to his knees 
and then, yep, there we go. So he's got his knees and he's coming down and up. So he's working those shoulders. Now you can alternate between those two. All right, a couple more seconds. And time. Beautiful job, you guys. All right, so that was our cardio competition. That was fast, wasn't it? So you did four exercises. All right, let me see your piece of paper, Zachary. All right, so hopefully your piece of paper looks like this. Oh, let me turn off my timer. All right, grab a sip of water, boys and girls. So you've numbered one through four. So now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do those exact same four exercises all over again, okay? So you start with your jumping jacks and I want you to look at your piece of paper, all right? And if you did 12 jumping jacks, I want you to try to do 13, okay? It's the same time of 30 seconds, but you're competing against your time. That's why this is called a cardio competition. You're competing against yourself. So don't worry about what your brother or sister did, okay, with their time. You worry about what you do, okay? All right, so Zachary knows how many jumping jacks he did for his first 30 seconds and he's gonna try to beat it. All right, are we ready for round two? Okay, in three, two, one, here we go. So we've got our jumping jacks, nice and strong. Remember, it's okay to take a little bit of a break, but we're only going for 30 seconds, okay? There we go, up and down, up and down. There we go, bringing those arms up, nice good posture, he's doing great. I know you're doing great at home too. All right, three more seconds, push it, push it. And time. All right, quickly write down your time. Okay, we'll review it at the end. You'll get a quick water break at the end of these four. We're going to those squat jumps, okay? So feet are hip width. All right, he's catching his breath. He's doing jumping up and down. All right, here we go. There we go, jumping up and down. So squatting all the way down. Yep, he's using those legs, he's using that butt, all right? So his weight is gonna be in the back. So make sure you're not leaning forward that you're gonna tip over. So that's why it's good to keep the arms here in the front so you can bring that weight back, okay? There we go, we're keeping your arms at your side to be going up and down. You've got less than five seconds. All right, keep going, keep going. And time. All right, write down your time. Catch your breath, nice good breaths. All right, we're going to butt kicks next. All right, so remember, all right, so it's one, one, two, two, okay? It's on both sides. Are we ready? Here we go, 30 seconds. 30 seconds goes by so fast. All right, keep it up. Here we go. All right, so he's bringing those legs back, okay? He's straight up and tall with his posture. There we go. Great form, keep it up, keep it up. Last 10 seconds. Keep it, go, go, go. In three, two, one, time. All right, write down. Okay, you've got one more. You guys are working so hard, I know you are. We're gonna get down on the floor for those push-ups. Okay, now I know you gotta go a lot slower with these push-ups. If you're on your knees or your toes. All right, let's go ahead and get down. Here we go, 30 seconds. All right. So he's choosing to start on his toes again, all right? And he's taking breaks, that's okay. This is your last exercise. This is your last cardio competition, okay? You have 15 seconds left, so you're halfway through, okay? He's alternating between being on his knees, on his toes, there we go. Down and up, go at least halfway down and then all the way up. In three, two, one, time. Whew, beautiful job. Okay, write down those numbers. Okay, grab a sip of water. All right, how did you do, Zachary? Pretty good. All right, excellent. Okay, so I won't read out his numbers, okay, because we don't want to make anyone feel bad. So like I said, you're competing against yourself. So it looks like Zachary did very well. So he competed and he got all better numbers on his second Time than he did on the first time. So that's what our goal is when we do these cardio competitions, okay? You're competing against yourself to just do one or two more, okay? All right, I'm so proud of you. Catch your breath for a second, just kind of walk side to side. All right, get a sip of water if you need it. We're gonna move to our strength training session, okay? So you're gonna grab those water bottles, you're gonna grab those cans of vegetables, 
vegetables or fruit. I think Zachary's got fruit today. <laughs> All right, we have four exercises. And today with our strength training, we're gonna focus on our upper body, on our arms. So these four exercises is only gonna be for our arms, okay? In future workouts, we'll, we'll focus on total body, we'll focus on legs, we'll do different things, okay? All right, so let's get ready. We're gonna show you what the exercise is then we're gonna do it together for 40 seconds. And then we'll have a couple seconds where I show you what the next move is so we don't have to rush. Now, I forgot to remind you guys, when we do our cardio, we can go fast. When we do strength training, I want you to go slow. So repeat after me, okay? Cardio fast. Cardio fast. Strength training slow. Strength training slow. Perfect, okay. So he's got his cans. All right, I'm gonna get the water bottles so I can show you boys and girls how we're gonna do these exercises. And then, like I said, if you want to use some dumbbells that you have at home, as long as you have your parents' permission, you can do that. All right, so you're keeping your elbows in. All right, so Zachary, we're moving to bicep curls first. So let me show you in the front, Zachary's behind me. My elbows are in, my arms are straight down, okay? We're curling all the way up to our shoulders and then back down, so nice and slow, okay? So we're curling up and down, okay? So do you have your equipment? Do you have your weights? All right, start with your arms straight down and I'm gonna get started with a timer. In three, two, one, here we go. So down and up, there we go, perfect. Curling up and down, all right. So we're doing this for 40 seconds, so it's a little longer than what we did for our cardio, but that's okay because we're going slow. We're curling all the way up and coming back down. We'll have a quick water break at the end of these four exercises. Okay, so hold on to those weights. Make sure you don't drop them. Up and down. All right, couple more seconds. Curling up. All right, and time. Okay, so a chest press. Okay, all right, get those arms 90 degrees. Okay, so that means my elbows are up. Okay, so elbows are up, my arms are straight. straight. Okay, arms straight, and we're pushing. Okay, so it looks like this. All right, here we go. We're pushing straight and coming back. Pushing straight and coming back. Let me show you from the side. So you're starting here, pushing straight, coming back. Okay, so it's a chest press, all right? There we go, so he's coming. All right, so straight and then pulling back. So he's keeping those elbows up the whole time and back, there we go. Forward and back, excellent. So nice, good posture, straight up and tall. So make sure you're not leaning back because you're trying to push those weights forward, okay? All right, a couple more seconds. Forward and back, all right, there we go. Put those weights down by your side. Okay, it's actually shift a little bit to the side. There we go. Okay, so you're gonna lean forward. So lean forward, knees are soft, okay? There we go, bent knees, leaning forward. My arms are straight. All right, bring your head up just a little bit. All right, here we go, a row. So we're pulling up and back down. Pulling up and back down. There we go. So keep going, Zachary, while I talk about this. So our bent over row, okay, we're pulling up, keeping those elbows in, bringing them all the way up here to our sides, our chest, and back down. Okay, keep going. So straight arms, straight arms, and then pulling up. There we go. So you're working on the back, okay, your shoulder blades. There we go, because I can feel those moving. All right, excellent. And you're just hinging down a little bit. Okay, you don't even have to be, let's come up just a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, so our overhead press, we're gonna end with this one, okay? So those arms are goal posts again. So remember they were like this for a chest press? Okay, they're gonna be like this. So Zachary, go ahead and get your arms 90 degrees, there we go. All right, and our overhead press, we're just gonna go straight up and halfway down to the goal post. All right, there we go. So straight up, yep, and down straight up and down. So let me show you. Straight up, down, straight up. There we go. So we're not counting. We're not counting our reps. We're just going straight up and down. There we go. So he keeps his elbows 
when he comes down 90 degrees and then he's just going straight up and back down. There we go. This is our last exercise and then we're going to repeat these one more time so we can practice more on these upper body movements. All right, almost there. And time. Whew. All right, put your cans down. All right, grab a sip of water. Okay. All right. Now, Zachary has chosen to use weights. Are you sure you want to use weights this yeah. next one? Okay. All right. So, we're going to do the same four exercises again, okay? And we're still going to do them for 40 seconds, okay? So, I want you to keep it up. All right, we're gonna get started. So Zachary, do you know what you're doing with your bicep curls? Just show everybody again, your elbows are in, curling up and down. All right, in three, two, one, here we go. So show everybody how to do those bicep curls. There we go, straight up and down, nice, good. 40 seconds for here. All right, that chest press. Yep, so keeping those elbows up. All right, and we're just pressing forward and pressing back. All right, so we're not getting started yet. We have about 20 seconds. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so forward and back. There we go. So he's keeping his arms straight. Are you sweating? Yeah, I'm hot. All right, you gotta wipe the sweat from him, don't I? All right, keep it up. That means he's working hard. I'm hot. Woo. Too. All right, here we go. Yes, it's hot in our basement where we work out. So make sure your shoulders are down and you're just pressing forward and back. So bring your arms down just a little bit. There we go. All right, so press forward and back. All right, boys and girls, we have a couple more seconds. We only have two exercises left and time. Woo. All right, are we good? All right, we gotta get set up for that row. We don't have a lot of time in between. All right, so weights down here by our sides. All right, we're hinging down. All right, so bring your, bring your neck up and your back just a little bit. There we go. We wanna make sure we have a straight back. So arms straight and row. There we go. So hold on, straight arms. All right, and now pull up. All right, so keeping those elbows in. There we go. Soft knees, soft knees. Make sure you don't have your knees locked. There we go. All right. So focus on those knees. All right, make sure those knees are not pressing in. Keep those elbows in. There we go. All right. So we're just doing some of these upper arm exercises. If you have done exercises before with strength training, you can go ahead and do three or four more rounds. You can go ahead and do this video again. All right, and time. All right, we have one more exercise. Stay here. So goal posts. Arms 90 degrees. All right, show me. Nice and strong arms. Okay. All right, so hold here. All right, and we got about five more seconds. So make sure you go all the way up and back down. This is our last exercise, and then we can put these weights down, okay? Here we go. Last, last 40 seconds, up and down. Up and down, you can do it. Boys and girls, you have 15 more seconds. There we go, up and down. All right, stay with me. There we go. Let's go to the end. And time. All right, boys and girls, put those weights off to the side. All right, and go ahead and get one more sip of water. Okay, we're gonna do an agility drill before we do our stretching and our cool down. So you only have three more exercises, all right? I know that you can do it, all right? 
I'm gonna set my timer again for one more time. We're gonna do three agility exercises. You're only doing them for 30 seconds each and you're only do doing them once. Okay, so I want you to grab your weights or your canned vegetables, fruit, whatever you're using, and you're gonna put them down. Okay, so I don't know if you can see them. Let's scoot back so you can see them. All right, so you're putting your cans all right, and you're gonna put them, so here's one. I wanna make sure that you guys can see this in the camera. And there's the second one. You're gonna put them far apart, okay? So they're not close together. All right, we're gonna work on agility drills, okay? Which means we're practicing with our jumping and our leaping, okay? So Zachary is gonna turn his body to the side, okay? And he is going to leap or jump from one can to another. Okay, so if you need to bring your cans, hold on, if you need to bring your cans a little closer together or further apart, you can do that, okay? We're only here for 30 seconds, all right? So set up your cans or your water bottles, okay? Gotta get my timer ready. All right, so you know what you're doing? Only have three things hopping from one to another in three, two, one. Here we go. And then you turn your body around and you hop. There we go. All right, so nice, good leaping. Use those legs, those arms. There we go, leaping and hopping from one side to the other. There we go, keep it up. You don't have to be counting. You're just going back and forth right now during this time, okay? There we go, you can go as fast or as slow as you want to. This is the last piece of work that you have to do. So I want you to push yourself. Come on, three more seconds and time okay you have 15 seconds let me show you what's coming up next you're going to do a figure eight around okay so you're drawing an eight okay move your hands to wherever you need to so you're moving you're weaving your body from one side to another all right here we go Jeffrey's going to show you all right so again because especially because we're doing agility this is a great reason why i wanted you to make sure that you're wearing good proper shoes or being barefoot so that you have good grip on the floor okay all right there we go keep going fast or slow fast or slow we go a little little faster with their agility you can do it in three two one Whew. all right one more exercise boys and girls and then we're gonna stretch i know that you're ready okay so we're keeping our cans here all right, and Zachary is going to shuffle. You're going from side to side. Now, before you were leaping, okay? All right, here we go. Side and then touching the can. Here we go. Go, go, go. Our 30 seconds already started. So he's just moving quickly from side to side and he's touching that can. Now, Zachary, show us how we can go a little slower than that. How can we go a little slower? There we go. Yeah. So if you don't have any energy left, then you're still gonna go side to side, but you can go slower. All right, now you can go fast for the last five seconds. All right, he's keeping his body down, his butt down, and time. Phew! High five, high five, boys and girls. I'm so proud of you. Yes. All right, let's pick up our hands and move them off to the side. Okay. Let's do our stretching. So we wanna make sure we don't have anything around us on the floor. We don't wanna accidentally step on those water bottles or those cans that we used, okay? All right, let's take a deep breath and just go a little bit from side to side right now. Okay, here we go. Just a little bit from side to side. Whew. Did you work hard today? I know you're sweating, it's nice and, nice and hot down here. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this workout. I hope that you, um, it, that it was fun for you to be able to do your cardio and you competed against yourself so you could see how fast you could go. We did strength training, so we're gonna, we learned some basic things, what we could do with our upper body with exercises. And we always wanna do at least two times of our strength training so that then we can practice on doing those movements. That way when you get older boys and girls and you go to, to gym class or you do um, some group fitness classes with your moms and dads or, or your siblings or your grandparents, whoever you wanna go take exercise classes with, then you're gonna know some of these exercises, okay? All right, let's stop here. Our feet are gonna be hip width. We're gonna do nice good stretches now, okay? All right, roll those shoulders, bring those shoulders up and back. Bring them up and back. So we're simply rolling those shoulders back. 
we want to stretch our upper body and our lower body because we did lots of things today, right? Okay, I want you to take your fingers, interlace them, and push them out straight ahead. There we go. So it looks like this. So you have your fingers locked together and you're just pushing them straight out. Okay, so with Zachary doing that, oh, bless you. All right, so turn to the side, Zachary, so I can show them, all right? His shoulders and his arms are straight. So right now he's feeling the stretch right here in the upper part of his back, his neck here, his shoulders. Does that feel really good? All right, so bring your arms up above your head. All right, so now he's stretching right above his fingertips. There we go. Nice good stretch, tall like a mountain. All right, all right, bring your arms halfway down, nice and straight. All right, bring them down to here. All right. So nice, good mountain pose, yoga pose. There we go. We got itches. Yeah. He did yard work, so the bugs eat him alive. <laughs> All right. Okay, arms straight out to the side. Nice and straight. Bring them into the middle. Bring them out again. Into the middle. Out. And middle. All right, okay, forward and back. Just nice, good little arm swings. There we go. Up and down. Four, three, two, one. All right, let's stretch our legs. All right, now my toes are facing me. We're gonna do a side lunge, which means we're gonna step out to the side. It looks like this, okay? Step out to the side and sink down. So Zachary, you do the other side so people can see you. There we go, straight down. Okay, so his toes are facing me. All right, yep, perfect. So this leg is, one leg is straight and this other leg is bent. So we're working, right now we're stretching, we're stretching the inner thighs here to see how this leg is straight and this one's bent because we started straight up and tall and then we leaned down. All right, so Zachary stays straight up and tall like this. All right, now let's switch to the other side. There we go. There we go. All right, let's do one more stretch together. So straight up and tall like this. All right, and we're gonna do one step forward. Okay, one step forward. Now, you wanna make sure, yep, bring those legs, bring this one out. All right, so you wanna make sure your legs are not too close together, okay? Because I don't want you to lose your balance, okay? So Zachary's front leg, is bent, okay? It's bent right here and this back leg is straight. So right now we're stretching our calves, our legs, because we did lots of stuff with the cardio at the beginning and then the agility at the end. All right, straight up and tall in the middle. All right, and then switch to the other side. All right, keep it up. All right, so front leg is bent. Okay, so keep this one out, out to the side. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna show you how, okay, so we don't wanna start narrow. Wind your feet just a little bit. All right, now, bring this leg straight back. Straight back, there we go. All right, and then this one's bent. There, okay, so boys and girls, if you start like that, where your feet are hip width, when you're doing this lunge or this stretch, you want to make sure that you're not too close together with your legs, because if you're too close together, then you're gonna topple over, okay? And then also, if your legs are too close together like this, then you're gonna hurt your knees or your ankles, okay? Does that feel better? Yeah. Is that an easier Absolutely. stretch? Okay, all right, so straight up and tall one more time. All right, there we go. Shake those arms out, wiggle that body out. Nice, good wiggles, 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 wiggles. All right, high five. All right. Good job, boys and girls. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Coach Rachel. This was Zachary, and I hope that you enjoyed your cardio and strength training class. Let me know if you wanna see more of these classes and what you want to do, okay? I'll talk to you soon, bye.